Welcome once again, my friend. It's good to see you. Please take a seat, take a drink, and listen to the tale of the bull beggar of Creech Hill. The rural countryside of Somerset has long been considered a place of peace. With its picturesque rolling hills and emerald green pastures, it's little wonder why people come here to escape the city. Now, one of these hills, the curiously named Creech Hill, is just as innocent in appearance as the country that surrounds it. Nevertheless, according to the people who reside near the hill, it is a place of great darkness. Something sinister, and perhaps even deadly, is said to stalk it. You would be wise to steer clear of Creech Hill, because it is a haunt of an inhuman entity known as the Bull Beggar, and it will do whatever it takes to keep you away. The history of the region surrounding Creech Hill is ancient and dates back beyond the mists of time. Sitting atop the hill is an Iron Age hill fort, possibly built sometime in the first millennium BC. Why these forts were built have been a cause of much debate in academic circles for decades. Some believe they were built to protect Britain from invading armies coming from continental Europe, while other researchers have offered that they were built to deal with social upheaval because of an increase in population. Centuries later, when Roman armies swept into the area, a Romano-Celtic temple was built over the Iron Age fort in around 250 AD. It was used as a place of worship until 375 AD, when Roman influence began to fade and the temple was abandoned. Despite its long history, where violence and bloodshed undoubtedly took place, the nightmarish entity that haunts Creech Hill is by no means human in origin. Many folklorists believe the spirit that stalks Creech Hill is a malicious inhuman entity known as a bull beggar or bogeyman. And, if there is any truth to the stories that have been told of Creech Hill for generations, this fiendish spirit lives up to its reputation of evil. How did Creech Hill come to be stalked by this demonic creature that has haunted the dreams of children for time immemorial? Believe it or not, its origins are far more innocent than you might think. According to local historians, the nightmare began in the late 1880s. Before Creech Hill's significance was discovered, a mining operation was set up looking for valuable minerals and coal. One day, a group of workmen unwittingly disturbed an ancient burial site and unearthed the remains of two bodies. Following the accidental discovery, strange things began to happen on the hill. Workmen were scared off the job by a sinister black shape that oozed malevolence and would suddenly appear. The black shape, which was believed to be attached to the disturbed cemetery, began taking its wrath out on the workers. The black shape destroyed equipment and attacked the workers. And with the workers long gone, you would think the bull beggar would return to the ground from whence it came. You, of course, would be wrong. Over the years, several horror-filled encounters with the bogeyman of Creech Hill have been reported. They are the stuff of nightmares. Late one evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon and darkness began to settle, a simple country farmer found himself traversing Creech Hill. He was returning from a nearby market and decided to use Creech Hill as a shortcut. Of course, it was a decision he would regret. As the farmer was making his way, he came upon a disconcerting sight. Blocking his path was what appeared to be an unconscious person sprawled in front of him. As he approached the shape to offer help, it reared to its full height and let out an ear-piercing shriek that echoed through the darkness. Seeing this was not a person in need of help, the farmer fled the scene in terror and did not stop until he reached his home. When he burst through the door, he and his wife looked out of the window to see a hellish black figure running up to the house, laughing maniacally. The 
preacher terrorised the house by banging on the walls and loudly screaming for what seemed like an eternity. Suddenly the creature ended its reign of terror and vanished. I can only assume the farmer never walked that lonely hill path ever again. The second account of the bull beggar of Creech Hill concerned a man who ventured on that same path, armed with a lantern and a staff made of ash. As he gingerly walked down the path, he was stopped dead in his tracks by an intense cold that penetrated him down to the bone. Rooted to the spot, he watched in shocked awe as a great black shape rose up from the ground directly in front of him. When he shined his lantern at the swirling black mass, it let out a blood-curdling scream that sounded as if the gates of hell had been blown open. Not wanting to die by the hand of the thing that appeared before him, the man struck out with his staff. Locked in mortal combat with the black shape, the man fought bravely as the great black shape cackled loudly. And when all seemed lost, the sun appeared over the hill, and the entity broke off its attack and faded away. The man swiftly left Creech Hill and never returned. These are but two stories out of the many told about the encounter with the dark entity that stalks Creech Hill an entity that jealously protects its domain. So I say to you, let them serve as cautionary tales to stay as far away from that seemingly innocent hill as possible. And there you have the tale of the bull beggar of Creech Hill. I hope you found it interesting, and if you did, why not like and subscribe? Maybe leave a comment down below. I thank you for your company, my friend, and look forward to sitting with you again very soon. <laughs>